going on guys PSV here and welcome to a new sort of series I guess I'm going to try and get a video out maybe once or twice a week of this game and this is Train Simulator 2014 so here we go so this is my first look on the game so I'm just going to quickly run through here so we've got drive career collection engine driver build store so what is build for example so builders can actually build like your own place and put tracks in buildings set all scripts and stuff that is pretty cool i've never actually done that though maybe i could sit down for a few days to figure that out maybe make a big video of that maybe stream maybe do something like that that's an idea so store is basically where you can buy like new trains that i'll quickly show you here you go they're like add-on packs they're quite expensive though. As you see. They are quite expensive. So yeah, that's that. Oh, uh, how do we get that? Main menu. Um engine driver you can actually make your own like space your profile. Collection so yeah, this is basically, yeah, this. <laughs> Nothing decent, really. I think that could be your saved area. I'm not too sure what that is, actually. Career. Basically, it says in, your, in its name. I just hope it don't load up my career actual game. So here it goes. As you can see, I've done zero of it all. So yeah. I started a career today, then I had to go to college. What was a waste of time. Don't even get me started on that and drive so what we're going to do today we're going to go and drive and get on with this so in in drive we have a uh, career again quick drive tutorial standard free roam so we're going to do a standard journey today we're not going to make it too long so if you see i've only completed this one uh see if there's any shortish ones that i haven't done before if not we'll just do that one again because that's not too bad want to do that it's a bit long I think I'm gonna do this one again London to Brighton because that was quite a nice little one that'd be quite nice to do a little first look on at least I know <laughs> what I'm doing kind of thing so yeah there is one problem with this game is that this bloody load up screen takes flipping ages for it to load So how how much is this game? So I think I paid. Let's have a look. I paid fourteen ninety nine for this game, but I kind of done a little cheeky one, guys. How did I do a cheeky one? Well, basically, I went to game, and I was looking through the train simulators, and I was with one of my friends, and he goes, "Oh yeah, I got two thousand and thirteen, um, and it automatically updated to two thousand and fourteen." I was like, "All oh, right then." When he went to give me the disc, I can put it on my computer, but you need to have the code and you can only activate it once. So, yeah, that's all right. I thought, okay, I'll go and buy it. It's only fourteen ninety nine. Um, So what I thought, I thought, I was sitting there and I'm thinking, if I brought 2013, would it automatically update 2014? So I brought 13, keeping a receipt, you know. If it didn't, if it didn't work, I was going to take it back. Boom, got on it. It says, this has been updated to 2014. I was like, bonus so yeah that's pretty cool so i have just got a slight problem because this is my first time making these on my <laughs> recording software so you can see it's kind of cut out the screen a little bit so i'm just gonna quickly do the screen adjustments so it's got the in like that okay Doing a few little screen adjustments only because this is the first time of actually playing this game on here. We're not really cutting much off there, are we? Okay, so I do apologise about that, guys. So here we are. So we we'll just ignore these. Ignore these. Ignore that. So if you use the right button on your mouse, you can actually 
look around. That was quite cool. So shall we have a look? So let's if you click down here, it kind of brings up your route that you got to do. So if I move it like that, so that's our first place we've got to go. So we'll go and do that now. We will. So first of all, we want to do we want to put it in forwards. Oh. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Right. Chuck it in forwards. And get going to our first little stop. So, where are we going again? So, yeah, we've just got to go through there. So this here is your speed. That's the speed that you can go. Anything past that, obviously, you get done for speeding. And this is your current speed right now. So I'm gonna loosen off a little bit on the speed. So if you press two, go to like an outside view. Three is kind of literally. If you use all the buttons, you get to use it to be able to look around so as you can see we're actually inside the uh, train now we can still take keep control of the panel here you can turn it off so you can't keep control of it you have to be in the cockpit to do it so guys so we down here you know helicopter view you can move around as well what's quite cool as well you can all like i say these buttons down here you can also access as like your viewing points So this is normally your break, but on this you have this little line as you might just be able to just see. When I take put it in break, you'll be able to see it. That is basically your line. Is that's your break kind of thing? So up here, this is just telling you some traffic light signal warnings. Okay, so there's this. So this is just giving you all the signs of like the traffic light meaning. I still forget them, you know, but I'll try and take a screenshot of it. That's what I was just doing just now. Taking a screenshot of it so I can put it on my second monitor for when I'm playing the game. So you kind of know what they all mean. So, so when this pops up, it's like an alert. You actually have it on British trains. It's kind of alert. You've got to press Q for that to go off. That's basically, if you if that goes off once... You're, and you don't answer it, it goes into emergency stop. It kind of, I think it's to stop the uh, drivers going to sleep on their long shift. Actually, that is the actual re for it. So here we go. So obviously around here is your wipe. You can do all these buttons by the keyboard as well, but I think it's easier just to tap them by the key. This one's for your electric wire if you're going over like the wires ahead. Obviously this is electric in the tracks. I'm guessing. I'm not really sure on trains to be honest. This is to load and unload passengers. I'm not sure what that one is. That's your horn. That's your bell <laughs> and your whistle. If you see if back there it had that thing in the road. That's like a sensor. Every time you go over on them it will go off. You just press Q or hold Q down and it will go off. This is your window wipers for when it's raining. That's your lights. So we're coming up to, I can see a red light just there. So just keep it at this speed. We can go 40 now, but we're coming up to a red light, so we are going to have to stop. Because there must be another train coming in the opposite direction. You can also get rid of of all this then do it all by these but sometimes it's easier just to do it by this you know well this is how I'm going to be using it by this so I took the uh, stopping a bit too early so yeah I will be doing like 
travels and stuff like stop start like a proper train driver on I'll probably get this out maybe once or twice a week I want to see how this first look goes first see if it's the type of videos that you guys want to see if it goes on to a hundred percent if you pull this right down to the bottom it goes on to an emergency brake you don't particularly want to use that, especially in career modes, because if you hit it too far down, and also here it tells you, like, if I put it on, like the brake, direct, if you hit it straight down, emergency, you know, you don't want to do that, because when you're doing career mode, I'm just going to creep forward, so I'm taking it slowly because of these red lights. When you're, uh... On career mode, you do not want to do that because you have so many points, and every time it hits emergency, for the amount of seconds it's on there, it loses a point, and you only have so many points, you run out of points, and that's your career kind of gone. It's a bit confusing. It's one of them ones you're going to have to watch yourself or play yourself to be able to do it, or I'll sit down and do a whole demonstration of it. So I'd say 75 maybe 89% brake will stop this sort of train quite quick so as you can see there is a train there coming round also if we click this you have to see the very confusing pattern right here so if I zoom down I've got to try and find where we are now well, no, you'll find I'll show you in a minute. There's our train go past, and that's basically all the railway lines and stuff like that. Here is just basically how many, like cabs or like. Uh, I don't know what other words for it. Trailers, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really a train kind of guy. So if we can launch this straight up. Let's hit this 70 mark, and we're now going to go. We've got to go through that signal to there, and we're going to go there. Then we've got to pick up the passengers, and that's that. So I'm just going to demonstrate some of the different views there actually are. So that's it. Yeah, so it is quite a good game to be honest. It's not my type of game. I'd sit down and play every day like I would Euro Truck. I can drive around with that all day, but it's not really my type of game that I would feel like I could play every day, you know? I think it is quite, because you're doing all the same stuff, so it does get quite a bit boring. But if you're a proper train lover, this is, you won't get bored of it. Like, where me, I think Euro Truck. Is my sort of game more than this don't get me wrong I do enjoy playing this but I couldn't play this every day you know because it is quite the same so here we go so I hope this game gave you a bit of a basic of looking around through the game bit of a look around there is more to like a lot more to it but I'm still starting at this game I ain't Ain't. I haven't had it that long and um, yeah so we're still getting to grips with it but I want to get this video out for you guys I think I had enough experience to get my first little look on it and I wanted to get this video out for you guys to see so then you guys actually know what Train Simulator is all about if you don't know already <coughs> knew that was going to pop up you see these bits in the track here that's what they are. Can't remember what that light means, so I'm just gonna write there's another red signal up ahead. Due to four cars. Okay, press the t Ok, 
Okay, so we can just pass this signal, I take it. So we can go past this signal, that's quite cool. So the red light that's up ahead, we can just go past it. We've requested to go past it. And if I am right, this is the one where you pull up behind another train. Oh, speeding. Whoops. So you see here, it flashes up to you. Oh, it's speeding. <laughs> so just take a screenshot, that's what that button does. It takes a screenshot and you see, uh, oh, it's saved as your screenshot. It pops up there on your sh Steam, nearly says streaming. Get ready, press Q. So we're requested to go past this signal, so I think we can just go straight past it. Didn't we? So I'm speeding again. I wouldn't be very good on career, would I? So yeah, if this is the one I'm thinking of, this is that we pull up behind another train, I do believe. Because we requested to go through that signal, so what, when I was playing it first, I thought maybe we have to stay then until that train goes, but we requested to pass it. That's what I'm a bit confused on, but... Let me see. This, yeah, let you see there's another train there, and that's the line we've got to go on, I do believe. So we're going to go up, around, yeah. We're only a small train anyway, so... Sure, as long as we don't hit it, it should be all right. So we are in Brighton platform four. I do believe that we've got to hook onto this train. That's what I do believe. Because we see here, that's what. That's all I'm guessing. I said, guys, I'm quite new to this. Right, we'll press this view just to get a bit closer first, shall we? Whoops. <laughs> Talk about smashing into the train. I didn't actually mean to smash into it like that. Whoops. So now we'll let the passengers off. Now let's try and get a nice... If that was... If they were out the way, that'd be quite nice, really. We'd have to get a nice photo, I guess. Just trying to get an angle for a nice photo in, so then you can see around the. So that's that, guys. So we just got to wait for this now. And if you press that, we're down at the other end of the cab. But we're going to go back to the other end just to. So if you see here, London Victoria, so they're quite <laughs> realistic names. See what 
they're up to. So here, as I forgot to mention, that's your time. You've got to wait for that to go across. And then an announcement will pop up saying that you're ready to go. This is just basically the time for the passengers to board onto the train. So I hope I haven't rambled on too much and rambled on like blah 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 about this game. Um, I will try and get a video of this maybe once or twice a week. If you put down in comments below that what you how often you'd like to see these, I'll try and do lots of different routes. Maybe that go for the longer routes, maybe go for the shorter routes and that. So the passengers are aboard the train when you're ready to depart to London Victoria. The tutorial has been completed. Okay, so there we go. So that I've just done the tutorial on that one. This is basically your tutorial how to do it and stuff that that's that section. Um, I hope you all enjoyed of my first look on this. I will be doing proper long journeys or like proper journeys, you know, stopping at each stop and stuff like that on my f uh, future videos of this game. Hope you enjoyed. Please ensure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also, don't forget to go over to my Facebook, YouTube and Twitch page. And please leave a follow on my Twitch page. Um, I'm 30 followers at the moment of making this video. And I haven't been doing streaming. We're doing it like a week or so. So I'm really happy with that. Thanks ever so much for all the support. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Cheers, guys.